<laughs> I would be too. Sean, how, did you, how did you get to this point? Uh, well, I got to this point by reaching 62. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I had thought about it for some time, and um, my health, although it's it, not bad at all right now, I, I have had some health issues, and, and uh, there's so many things that I felt like that I wanted to do with the rest of my life, mm -hmm. and so many things that I felt like that I couldn't do yeah. with the restaurant. Yeah. And um, so I began to give it some thought, um, and the more I thought about it, the more I felt like that the only way that I could, the only way that I could accomplish in any way whatsoever the dream that I had mm -hmm. uh, was, to, was to give the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Instead of sell the restaurant. And what's that dream? How would you define it? Well, number one, mm -hmm. uh, when, when I came here uh, in 1991, I knew that I wouldn't be here forever. Mm -hmm. But I, but I began to have a vision for what Richmond could be, mm -hmm. and uh, and I wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. I didn't want to be a follower there. I wanted to be the leader. I wanted to be the first one to do this. Yeah. The first one to do that. You, you should never think of yourself as an owner of the building, mm. but a caretaker. Mm -hmm. you, you receive this, and you want to you want to make it this, and then pass it on to the next mm -hmm. caretaker. I was unable to do that. Yeah. Um, so, um, if if I give the business away and sell the building just for what I owe. Then, then the person could use the money that they would use to buy a business yeah. and a building yeah. to make it better. Yeah. That's that's realizing my dream. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to get the credit for that. Mm. Uh, I just want to see it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I called him up and I said, I would love to talk to you and Rachel. I think I know who Rachel is, mm -hmm. and I certainly want to talk to you. But we've got a problem. And he said, "What's that?" And I said, "I'm not selling the restaurant." And and there was a there was a decided pause on the sure. on the other. Like, did end. I get the wrong guy? That's right. Yeah. Rachel called me and she goes, "I think Tom's Tom's Deli is is up for sale." Okay. And I said, "Huh?" And uh, we had I had been talking about a business for for not just a month but yeah. several years. Yeah. We've been talking about doing a business of yeah. some sort. Um, and I have a background in restaurants and that type of thing. Yeah. And um, so she, she said, you, you ought to look into it. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I don't know, maybe, uh -huh. maybe. And I didn't do anything for three weeks. And finally she said, she goes, are you gonna, are you gonna get with Tom or, or what? And I said, he's, he's probably already done something by now. And she goes, just write the letter. And I said, okay. So I sat down and wrote the letter uh, through her, uh, her encouragement. And, um, and that's when Tom called and, mm. and we went from there. So, what happens now? Well, um, <laughs> I take over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and I give up <laughs> the reins. <laughs> and then I go, on to, I go on to other things and I think at this point, for me, better things. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I want to be an advocate for downtown. Uh, especially the community as a whole, but again, that you've got to start with the heart. You've got to get it pumping again and, and pumping some blood into mm -hmm. the system. Um, I, I know exactly what that means, mm -hmm. and, and without that, uh, this is just a place, a, a place to live. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and and with it, with with downtown Richmond coming back, then it becomes a place more than just and, and obviously you know Rachel and I are going to come in and we're really not we're really not going to change a whole lot in, in the beginning mm -hmm. but we're obviously going to put our own personalities into it mm -hmm. and you, you may see a different color on the wall you may see a different decoration here mm -hmm. and there uh, and over time we're going to be you, you know it'll it'll take on our personalities wow. and our uh, and our uh, the way we want to take yeah, it, you know, yeah. um, you know, but it'll be it'll be subtle changes, uh, and uh, you know, and I hope the changes will be where people go, oh, 
that's different. Maybe we'll, let's go in and try that. Nice. Let's go in and, and see. Now is Tom teaching you all of his cheesy jokes that you can keep telling, or he, are we going to lose that? He has a book. It's a, it's it's probably about three or four inches thick in the back, uh, <laughs> and it's one joke. <laughs> it's just on it's every one, page. It's, it's one joke. It's a continuing How joke. How you publish that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would like to. I would like to say, if people want to start a little small business, um, think downtown first. Mm -hmm. Call me nine six six eight five one six. I want to help. I want to. I want to be an advocate. I want to be a liaison between whatever I get, whatever I can do to help. Mm -hmm. My expertise is restaurants, if you can call it expertise. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, advice to somebody who's an, who is a, a, an aspiring business person. Mm -hmm. um, think traditionally, mm -hmm. not progressively. Think small and let it grow. Mm -hmm. Don't think big and get yourself overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then in the famous words of Winston Churchill when he gave um, a college uh, graduation speech, uh, the entire speech he began with, never give up, mm. never give up, mm. never give up, never give up, never give up. Mm. Just don't give up the dream mm. and you can make it happen. Mm. Um, let's don't give up the dream mm -hmm. of, of rebuilding Richmond. And I think it, it does have to be, and I'm, I'm probably the, the new kid on the block mm. downtown. But the reason I wanted to come downtown, and, I, and when Tom and I talked, I said, I don't want to move the business from downtown. I want to leave it exactly where it's at. Okay. Um, because I really believe that, that Richmond does have a future. And it's not going to be you know, the big industry that we used to have. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a lot of little cottage industries. And, and, and I would love to see boutiques, more restaurants, yeah. downtown Richmond. And just places, art galleries that you can just walk downtown and bike racks, bike yeah. racks. We're we're working on that. Yeah. Um, but that's the that's the reason I'm excited about being here. Um, you know, um, and that's the reason I wanted to be. That's the reason I wanted to, to get into this and sit and do that. Yeah. I do have a, I do have a positive feeling about Richmond. Yeah. Yeah.